Hello everyone, this is the Green Snake Gamer playing Universal Studios Theme Park Adventure Part 5. So, on to my next attraction. So far doing pretty good. Let's keep it up. Okay, good. Here's the Wolfman. Get in a thousand points. Get as many points as I can. You really want to be lucky finding those characters to shake hands with as much as you can. Good, I found another one. Keep those points coming. You may have noticed I'm running much faster, that's because of the T-Rex shoes. It helps me get around the park much quicker. And that comes in very handy, especially with this being a big park. So that's why I have those on. And this will be our next attraction. The backdraft attraction. Let's get the fireman's helmet on. So we can cut in line. Okay, let's get that red stamp. Let's do this. I know this one can be pretty rough. control pad to take small steps and turns. If you see a fire extinguisher, pick it up and press the B button to use it. Fire extinguishers can put out fires quickly. Press the X button to take cover from explosions or objects falling from the ceiling. Hurry up and rescue the people trapped inside the building. Okay, let's do this. Let's rescue everybody and do our best to take as little damage as we can. Only rushing into a burning building to save people, no problem. And second thought, this is gonna be a huge problem. But, I'll do my best. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this fire extinguisher in the corner. Fire extinguishers come in very handy. So we just gotta move around through the building, putting out fires and rescuing people. If someone's nearby when you see the help come up. You can hear them yelling for help. Always lets you know there's someone nearby. Oops, it was too close to that glass glass cracks like that, you need to duck or get out of the way. It's not good. I can walk into the fire. The camera is fixed again, just like in the park, so it's hard to gauge distance of how close you are to a fire or not. And 
that's what makes the fire extinguishers great right there. They put the fires out immediately. I don't know what kind of building has floors that move for you. I guess people are too lazy to walk. Okay, we've got to rescue another guy. Okay, you need to duck when the barrels are launched into the air. Because they come down and explode. Just walked into the fire again. It's a lot closer than I thought. Amazing how the barrels explode right on top of you, but as long as you're ducking, you take no damage. I don't see how ducking can stop an explosion that blows you up like that. Another fire extinguisher on the right. I'm gonna go back up the other side. Since there's this railing in the center. You always want to collect fire extinguishers. They come in very handy. Especially when there's a lot of fire around. Health too, you always want to collect these hearts. Because this gets really rough. is very hard, which is why you see me struggling a bit here. Have a lot of trouble because the directions get all mixed up while you're running to different areas. And stuff like that is just really confusing. So basically the movement likes to fight with you. your horses. Thank you. Okay, and I'm gonna get a second fire extinguisher up here. We also have a time limit, as you can see, so you don't want to take too long. the best I can. Okay, we're gonna go on the left here first in this room. Yeah, somebody in here. Okay, more glass. Make sure you duck. Hey buddy, you might want to duck. Ooh. It's amazing how he's completely unharmed after that. That's okay. 
Okay. Okay, more holes shooting fire out of the walls. Try to time this right. Okay, as if, as if things weren't hard enough. Now the fire itself starts launching fireballs at you. They just keep making things tougher and tougher. Glass again, we gotta get down. Okay, I'm gonna go to the left first. Yeah, this is, I thought a dead end with a person at the end. Which, if they wanted to, they could have just walked around the fire. much of a rescue mission if they did that. Would have saved me a lot of trouble if these people would have just got out of the burning building themselves. Okay, two fire piles firing fireballs at you. Luckily they don't take much water to be put out. Just gotta keep moving. It was a bumpy start, but I feel pretty good. starts getting insanely difficult right here. Look at that barrage of fireballs. And you're not even safe right here. You need to clear the fire out of your way to continue, but yet they just keep pummeling you with fire with no break whatsoever. Now they got barrels flying at me too. Look at all that. Won't let up at all. Give me a break. Better get that health up instead. Exit, this should be it. Okay, good. I rescued everybody. Did okay with time, I guess, but took a lot of damage. Okay, but I got the red stamp, that's what's important. So to get the red stamp, you simply have to save everybody. So it's okay to take some damage. We rescued everybody, and that's what's most important.
Now to head back and cash in more points. These T-Rex shoes are great, makes it a lot easier to get around, so much faster. Still takes a while to get around the park, but it helps a little bit at least. Let's get the back to the feature cap. And I believe it's just the hoverboard left. Yeah, just the hoverboard. Look at that, 40,000 points. Ugh. That's gonna take forever to save up to buy. And this will be the end of Universal Studios Theme Park Adventure Part 5.